Started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. We're at the bottom. At the bottom. At I the mean, bottom. Yeah. Bottom of the card, probably. That's basically, yeah. yeah. Right. Because yeah. that's what you. I mean, yeah. Be. Bottom. You know, you're short. Yeah. You fit there. Yeah. yeah. So when am I gonna meet you again, boy? I mean, here. We, here we are. Mm. We're meeting. What am I gonna meet but you, you want a match against me? Yeah, I want a match against you. I've always wanted a match against you. <laughs> you want a match against me? I mean, didn't we just do that like four years ago? Yeah, I beat you. You beat me. Yeah. So you got one. Yeah, and you got it. Let me get my match against you again. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? What's up, oh. guys? Uh, I didn't want to interrupt all this, but I got another view. I had something to say to him, though. So you want to leave us to it? Yeah. I'm, I'm looking for that back. Yeah, I'll see oh, you around. I'm looking that back. Would I decide to stop main events? I'll go down to the bottom of the car. Right, yeah, buddy. you should not be focused on him. Who should I be focused on? You? Oh, me. The guy at base tonight, correct? Uh, yeah. Let me introduce myself. I'm the Alpha Leonidas. Okay. And, and Master of Chaos. Like Ooh, Master of Chaos. What a wonderful name. Can't wait to see how much chaos you bring into that ring. Oh, I'll show you. You shake my hand, or yeah, of course. Crazy. Because I'm so confident in the fact that I'm going to belittle you. Do you want to be short? No. Okay. I can get to your level and still kick your ass. No problem. I'll see you in the ring, bud. Just remember, I'm not like any of these wrestlers you've been facing. Just remember that. Okay. See you in the ring. So, did you miss me? Because <laughs> I didn't miss any of you. <laughs> None of that stopped the ref from calling me up on my phone maybe about a month or two ago asking me, no, 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 begging me to come back home to NEW. A part of me couldn't blame him at first. I mean, after all, I'm AX. My name speaks for itself. I am a former world champion of almost every company I've ever worked for. I am a current Hall of Famer. And I am now, as I have always been in my career, the best since day one. But don't let any of that deceive you. See, I was genuinely happy being retired. I was completely satisfied with my last match, which for those of you that need the reminder because you have short-term memory loss, which I know is quite a few of you, let me remind you exactly what happened the last time that AX showed up in NEW. I not only won my last match, I not only walked out of this company, your United States champion, 
that I made your hero, your golden boy, Jake Matthews. Tap out. <laughs> And then, then I go home, and I watch NEW from YouTube, as a fan, just like all of you. And I watch as Jake Matthews goes from taking one of the biggest losses of his entire career to all of a sudden, just like that moved on like I was nothing no mention of that loss no mention of that match no mention of me of my career of my legacy of the history I've made of the paths that I've paid <sighs> see this it made me realize has always been the pattern of Jake Matthews' career. For as long as I've known him, Jake Matthews has been on a secret campaign to take down AX. He has worked his ass off to make sure that you and everybody else forgets the name AX. Downplays the name AX. Make sure that the rest of the NEW locker room sees me as just another guy. When Jake of all people should know that for a large majority of my entire career, I have been more than just another guy. In fact, I have been the guy. The guy to be the history maker and the record breaker. The guy that brought in all those YouTube views, all those match requests, all those private comments. I was the guy that carried the flag. I was the guy that paved the way for the likes of Jake and everybody else. But Jake doesn't want you to see that about me. Jake doesn't want you to see me as a groundbreaker. And I am done. I am done sitting idly by and letting a man like that control me while he has all of you at the tip of his fingertips like puppet strings. I am done pretending to like a guy like Jake Who's going to sit there and continue to belittle me, diminish me, and not take me seriously. I refuse to retire knowing that you continue your stupid personal ego streak, Jake. You no longer control me. You never have. The way that I see it, there is only one person. Who gets control of the narrative. One person who gets to tell the story and legacy of AX. And it's not Jake. It's not the ref. And it's certainly not any of you. It's me. It has always been me. So you want me back, ref? Because I'm just that much of a draw for you? Fine. But in order to come back, I had to give the ref two conditions. And it all falls in line with my ultimate plan, Jake. My ultimate plan to take you down. <laughs> 
Ah, but don't fret. I'm not going to reveal all my cards at once. <laughs> no, no, I'm just going to give you the two contingencies I gave the ref to come back to begin with. The first, I needed to just simply get under your skin again. I needed to get you upset, pissed, mad at me, skin boiling. <laughs> I needed you to hate me. So I went and did the one thing that I know you would have been mad at me about, and that is insert myself into that match and win the way I wanted to. The... N.E.W. Hardcore Championship. <laughs> you want AX? I had to be part of that match. And before anybody goes and complains about the way that I won that match, understand something. You're on that side of the computer bitching and moaning about the way that I won the Hardcore title. And I'm on this side of the computer, still hardcore champion regardless of your opinion. <laughs> the second contingency I gave the ref was simple. I heard, Jake, that you've got a match coming up. Pretty big match at Broken Dreams. An undisputed championship match. Well, it's your lucky day, Jake. That match has just become a triple threat match. Jake Matthews versus Rhea Silver. Versus AX. <laughs> and I'm not going to stop there, Jake. I'm not done at the hardcore title. I'm not done at the undisputed title. I am not done until I finished with you. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea what's coming your way, Jake. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Until then, I will see you and Rhea at Broken Dreams. <laughs>
you know, I was very excited for Broken Dreams, and I was very excited to defend my Undisputed Championship against Jake Matthews, the best on the card, Jake Matthews. Because I absolutely respect Jake Matthews. I mean, Jake Matthews, along with Power Swords, have helped me tremendously since I've came to NEW. I was happy to give him a rematch at Broken Dreams. And then AX came along, and a part of his negotiations for his return with the ref, he got granted not only that bullshit he pulled with a hardcore title match, but he gets to be added to my undisputed title match with Jake Matthews. He does not deserve to be in that match. And let alone the fact that that match was already booked and scheduled. For him to be added in is just bullshit. Furthermore, AX, I am a proud defending champion. All you had to do if you wanted a match for my undisputed title was ask me. Not go over my head with that ridiculous bullshit refer... But no matter what. You're in the match now, I guess. But that's fine. Because no matter who's in the match, if it's a singles match, a triple threat, a fatal four-way, hell, if it's with the whole damn roster, I am walking in and I am walking out the undisputed NEW World Champion. AX, I hope you know what you got into. Because now, at Broken Dreams, I will be making Jake Matthews and you, AX, both take notice.